Okay, so we're on. Um, we do this a lot in the group. So you can, <coughs> you can do the cancelling beliefs for other people. Or God did not create it for other people. So I had, uh, I had with my mother. She had like um, edema, and uh, and so it came just suddenly came into my mind. I think the Holy Spirit spoke like, well, just do do the cancellings and the God did not create it for your mother. So I did. God did not create edema in my mother. It's not real. You know, or I cancel my belief that my mother has a redeemer. I'm an infinite being. And then, you know, the, uh, the, by the next day it was going down, and she was saying, oh, look, it's going down. And then it had, it had gone in a few days. So you can do it for other people as well. You know, God, I would do like, God did not create, like, uh, whatever it is. Uh, God did not create cancer in my child, so in, in Joey, so it's not real. Or God did not create um, asthma in Jane, so it's not, it's not real. You do that every day, uh, you can, um, uh, you can visualize them healthy and let it go, um, and uh, now you should do it without expectation that it will work, because if you do it with wanting to control the situation, it will be less effective. So you should surrender the outcome to God and do it, but whether it happens or not, you should surrender that. Um, whether these things happen or not is under what we call karmic permission. permission. Uh, <clears throat> so often, uh, generally, if you've got a high level of consciousness, they tend to have a greater chance, like a saint praying for you, or Jesus praying for you. If you had Jesus or Buddha praying for you, it's probably going to have a greater chance of it working in a spectacular fashion. If you feel like you want to kill everyone in the world uh, and you're full of anger and fear, um, because, you're, you're, you, because you, you're, you act as, that acts as a block to the conduit of God's love, if you can see that, all that repressed stuff. So it tends to, you might have to do it longer and it might not work. <clears throat> I mean, coming to these groups, I think, is a wonderful thing because we, can, we, have, we have these group counsellings and you can use your group counselling to help your daughter's arthritis or... We can have a group counselling to help, you know, your grandmum's, you know, your grandmum's blindness, whatever it is. I'll sometimes do it in the group for my father. I'll say, like, <clears throat> I'll ask the whole group to do a thing for my father. I'll say, like, oh, we're going to place my father's psoriasis into God's infinite light and love, and the whole group will do it. That's a very, very powerful thing in the group mm -hmm. that we do. The, you know, it magnifies the energy in the, in a group thousands of times than you doing it alone at home. So, yeah, you can do it that way. <clears throat>